In today's Home of Boxing production, we're going to be looking at the fight that Tyson Fury might have actually lost. What a total shift. Six to one on Fury at the start. Now, the bookies fancy McDermott, and I think we do too, Jim. Many boxing fans believe Fury robbed his opponent in this bout. I've got uh, McDermott up by a couple of rounds. So let's take a look at the time the Gypsy King lost a fight. On one Friday night in Essex in 2009, the young Gypsy King's unbeaten record almost came to an end. The 21-year-old was 7-0 at this point and had won each of his learning fights against Journeyman by stoppage. It was time for his first step up with English heavyweight champion John McDermott, named as his opponent. By this point, McDermott was 29 years of age and held a record of 25-5. He lost his last two fights to Danny Williams as he challenged for the British belt, though it wasn't thought to be finished due to the close nature of these contests. Against the hot prospect Fury though, who was installed as a 1-3 betting favorite, few gave McDermott a chance. In the build-up, the challenger mocked the champion for his pot belly and branded him John McDonut, among other insults. That's the worst thing I've done, so I've trained like a maniac. Now I've lived in an hole for six weeks, get away from my family, I've done nothing but train. So it's the worst thing he's done was to call me that. Talking ain't fighting, mate. Fighting's fighting and talking's talking, you know. He's got all the big mouth about he's gonna do this to me and do that to me. Mate, I'm gonna, gonna push him, I keep pushing him, I keep pushing him until I burst him. On fight night, the older man would get his chance to exact revenge. Fury had previously never been beyond four rounds in a fight, whereas McDermott had gone the full 12 in both of his last two contests. The English title bout was only scheduled for 10 rounds and, as a result, would be scored just by the referee rather than three judges. The fight began with both men coming out firing from the first bell. McDermott negated the size difference well and hit Fury with a strong right hand before following up with a hard uppercut in the opener. Good shot from McDermott, and Fury is in a fight for the first time. Fury riled McDermott at the end of the round by leaning in and saying something in his ear. McDermott responded by attempting a headbutt as proceedings boiled over and the pair were separated. Referee Terry O'Connor brought the fighters together and told them to calm down at the start of the second round. Fury began the second better as he used his jab and counter shots to punish McDermott for falling short. Fury was pretty accurate and busy with the jab in the opening round, but I think you need more than that to win these contests. However, the English champion replied with a big left hook and already the commentators began to ask, is Fury ready for this? Remember a big, big underdog going into this, John McDermott. Is Fury ready for this? The challenger had some success with his jab early in round three though. He was far from the elusive defensive expert we see today, and McDermott answered back again. The fourth was another positive session for the veteran who forced himself onto the younger man's chest and hammered home shots to head and body. As they entered the middle stages, McDermott began to tire, and Fury had his moments. Nevertheless, the champion battled back once more and appeared to hurt his challenger with multiple powerful right hands, which stopped him in his tracks during round 7 and 8. Now it's a terrific heavyweight battle, isn't it? The English title at stake, but as David Hay was saying, a lot of pride and a right from McDermott. Fury takes it. With two to go, momentum had swung so far in McDermott's favor that the bookies now had him as the in-play betting favorite. The Gypsy King regained control in an impressive penultimate round and dominated McDermott in a fantastic final round, but many felt it had been too little too late. Remarkably though, referee O'Connor walked straight over and lifted the arm of Fury when the final bell rang, crowning him the new English heavyweight champion. The bell's gonna go any second, a right hand from McDermott. Will that seal the victory? Terry O'Connor gives it to Tyson Fury. When the score was read out as 98-92 to, to Fury, astonished co-commentator Jim Watt reacted. Did he have the names mixed up? I can't explain that. Extraordinary. Scores a contest 98 points to 92 in favor of your winner from Manchester and new English heavyweight champion Tyson Fury. By whatever margin that McDermott should have won that fight. It was a terrific battle. Both deserve praise. That is extraordinary. John McDermott's going English. straight out of the ring. Does he have the names mixed up, Adam? I cannot, I cannot explain that, I'm sorry. For Fury, it was no good though to declare afterwards he thought he was a deserved winner, especially when his corner could be heard telling him before he went out for the final round that he was behind in points. 
and he needs to rein in the bravado. Tyson, you got the win, you got the verdict, did you deserve it? Yeah, I deserved it, yeah. I worked very hard for that, I had to dig so deep for that. While McDermott gave a moving appeal and asked, I'm a nice man, what did I do wrong? I'm a nice guy, I don't, I don't let my people down. I'm a nice, genuine guy. He's the one shouting his mouth off. I know he's a nice guy, maybe he's a nice guy down to earth, but he's the one with a big mouth. And I'll, I'll, I'll get penalized for it. It is one of the most moving post-fight statements you could ever hear from a boxer. The boxing community had been outraged by the decision, which is saying something. We couldn't even say that Fury's fans agree with it. The result was so shocking that it was later revealed McDermott's promoter, Frank Maloney. Now, Kelly Maloney suffered a heart attack at ringside. Maloney and McDermott even suggested that O'Connor was biased against McDermott as his father, who was in his son's corner, beat the referee back when they were both boxers in 1977. Terry O'Connor is a disgrace to British boxing what he done here tonight, and doing that, you know, people are like, why do I want to be in a business when you're getting robbed? They like robbery. Following the controversy against McDermott, Fury chose to take a backward step and fought two more journeymen before returning for a rematch in 2010. There was no doubt second time around as a new and improved Gypsy King knocked out McDermott in the ninth round. Make sure to check out some of the other videos from our channel if you enjoyed this one.